Hey guys, this is Rain Wolf. I'm here with my partners from Power 9405. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it has been a very long, stressful weekend. One manning, a lot of footage. <laughs> yes. I got Steel and Jay. Or Jay. Yes. <laughs> don't make it more. Don't, don't make it any more. Don't make it any more complicated. <laughs> um, it's been. Uh, this is our first year at BlurCon. BlurCon is now going on three years. And from our knowledge, they, from opening ceremonies, just from their pre-reg, they got around 3,000 people. That doesn't count the people that have already actually got here to register after pre-registration had ended. So that was already a, a, uh, it was already an increase, thank, thankfully for them. And it's been great. I think the, the biggest thing with this con is, is that uh, we're, we've covered DecoCon and everything else. It's um, everything is layered like a cake instead of just brought out. Yeah. So you don't see like the endless sea of people. So people who are like me who have anxiety don't freak out because you're only on one that floor, floor and you see what goes on there. But then you also look over the edge and go, oh, there's a lot of people, but it doesn't freak you out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. yeah, because as you were saying, it was layered the panel rooms, top floor. Then you got these little rooms right here where the registration was. And then down below, you have the ballrooms and everything that were the main events and the artist alley slash vendors room was at. Actually, what I think was great about this is this time had two vendor rooms, technically, because they had uh, artist alley split the two. Well, technically. No, they had two vendor rooms they and then they had the artists separate. Yeah, they had the artists separately, which I, I didn't get a chance to go far in there, but it was really No, good. it's beautiful. It was, it was very, very beautiful and it's a very far far back room once you thought you actually gone through part of the room it continued on um the one thing that i did like actually is that they have a 24 7 video game room and dance downstairs um the the eclectic amount of games and it was ridiculous um i think my favorite one was i wanted to try and i hadn't had a chance to try it. it's basically be your own dj yeah. I've seen so, that game around. But see, I've never I, actually taken I haven't a shot either, at so it. So I'm really curious about it. And I hopefully, you know, sometime either tonight or maybe tomorrow, I'll get a, a chance to go on it. Um, to to go back to the panels, I wasn't able to change uh, on a lot of panels, but there was a lot of costuming panels, a very, 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 very good amount of things other than anime, like monsters or other sci-fi like DIY of creation of your own things. And I can speak on that uh, because we went to uh, one of the DIYs was uh, uh, learning how to chain mail, learning mm -hmm. how to um, learning how to sew electronics into your um, into your um, you know Cosplay. costume. So it's like the lights and stuff. How does that work out? So that's that's at the recording of this. So I've got friends in that panel now and. Um, and then this, like I said, this morning it was chain mail and it was so nice. Uh, and the woman was extremely nice. She was hands on, uh, really helped everybody know what they were doing. They're very friendly. And, and, and speaking on the friendly part, this has been the most friendly con I have ever been to. Hey man, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a blur, so I know. <laughs> right. I For know. those that don't know that maybe watching this blur is also a shortened version of Black Nerd. What up? Anyway, uh, there, um, <laughs> there were also a lot of diversity panels as well for a lot of the for a lot of the attendees here. But also, as you can see, I'm an Asian. I'm here. We got a white guy. We got the. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Keep tripping. Keep tripping, Barn. Keep tripping. And a black, and a black nerd. And, so, you know, it was at good. first, it, I did. I've been around numbers of people, giant groups of different cultures all my life, so it didn't really feel too off to me. But if you are a person that's not kind of used to that, like one type of crowd, what you're used to going to a con and seeing a majority of Caucasians or Asians or whatever, um, just keep that in mind. But this is a great con to come to. They are very welcome. They don't diverse on you or who you are. No, not at all. There's no, there's no judgment here, which I love. There's no homophobia. There's no sexism. Uh, there is, you know. It's love. But yeah, body it, positivity way at, uh, way up the door, uh, way up the wazoo. Um, I saw a woman who was plus size cosplay, and she looked wonderful. But all the way down to someone who was somewhat plus size and almost almost nothing, but she fit in. She really fit in, and it was like I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that, but still, she fit in. 
it's, well, it's, it's not it's even not. it's not even it's, it's not even what you feel. It's what they feel. And right. as long as they're in a they're in an environment where they feel accepted, loved, and not judged, that is the key thing. That has always been the key thing of anything of any kind of nerd community is you know you, cosplay is not you know just because it's not consent. But the other big thing of it is is knowing that when you go here. You're going with like-minded people. You're going with people who care. You're going with people who know you love that character. You want to play that character. You want to dress as that character. They're not going to sit here and go, "Well, you're too this. You're too thin. You're too you know. You're not you're not the right color for this character. You're not like this." And that's the big thing with the community overall. And in blurred for me, this this is my first blurred convention. This is the first anything like that. So whenever I go to a convention, I've always been a part of a cosplay circuit, but I very rarely cosplay. I came here and I'm watching everybody. I'm like, I gotta have an outfit for next year. I can't come to this. I can't come to this dress like me. I gotta play my character. Either get our character, or even we've had that idea because we're both well, actually all three of us are big Final Fantasy fans of online game, and mm-hmm. there's a tire we want to get together that'd be awesome to do. And, and that would also, that's also true, they, uh, there was three, no less than three panels this weekend on how to be a plus size cosplayer, from plus size cosplaying to how do I handle being a plus size Lolita, mm-hmm. I mean, everything, there was no, if it, there was no shame, there was no judgment, it was, this is what you do, I can do this, and even the workshop people were like, look, we had so. Well, if you, you know, even if you're broke, email us and tell us you're broke. We'll work out a payment plan. If you want to wear, wear something, we'll make it somehow happen. Well, see, to deviate, you know, from on that, not too much, but yes, and I do agree with every bit of that. It's a great thing. But to to go on to the other aspect of this con, my my thing is enjoying not only there with you know a DJ party. There's music always going comes and going on. There's always people dancing, singing. And it's always music that is relevant to geek culture, or even to just you know hip hop or TV or anything like that. It was great music. Then last night, uh, Kiki and I went to a comedy show. I'm kind of usually scared. I was it. there, and it was. It was and hilarious. Those jokes, I, I was like, at first, I was like, and then I was just laughing my ass off at the whole time. Well, at the, and you gotta, you gotta understand with also with that too is that if they were attending to the crowd that was here, right, the, and the, the, the majority crowd that was attending. Well, not only that, but it, they don't, you have to deal with humor. Sometimes yeah. you don't have to take yourself too seriously. Yeah, but I never take it. <laughs> my problem is that sometimes I take myself too seriously, so it's it's really hard for me to unwind. And when I hear somebody talk something that's a little close to home, but here lately, it's been more for me to be able to laugh at myself and laugh at things like I used to. So when I, you know, I was hearing him, I'm laughing at him because some of it related to me. It really did. You know, on, on, on the blurred level, it, it related to me. So there's a lot of things that happens at blurred con that some may miss. But when I say it's for the blurred community, I don't mean it with any disrespect. No, but I mean, that, that, that truly is... Your community, I mean, where, we, where we've grown up all of our lives has been, you know, small town, hillbilly America, mm-hmm. well, not hillbilly, let's just say uh, southern Appalachian region mm-hmm. uh, of, of, the, of, the, of, of the U.S. And, you know, it was always, oh, you're black, you can't be a nerd, or why don't you like normal things, or, you know, or something. And it and it's just it's weird, you know, when you you know, because you walk in here and you're like, this exists. I can't tell you how many people I've 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 heard from the staff to cost to the to the guests we've interviewed this weekend of, oh my God, this exists. Oh. Why has this not been around? I mean, in a convention form. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. In a convention. Form. Well, uh, there's there's several reasons for that. Different points and factors. We can go on forever on that. Um, but it's here now and that's the main thing that's the important thing and it's embracing not only you know the blurred community but lgbtq and everybody and i think everybody needs to understand that blurred con is a very open con it's not an isolated con no, just that it isn't and that's a big thing for that it is like i said a welcoming community a very loving community and that's why i've enjoyed my time being here and i'm hoping to actually do more tomorrow as well as today um to touch base on the other panel not only the panels and the costumes the games, the music, 
the entertainment on the bottom floor. Um, there's not a point where you can't not be there is something with going on. There is no one dull moment. I am for me, as you know, that what I do as a side for anime convention video, um, record going around recording panels, and as things are right, it. It's just one thing after another that going through that schedule, I had to try to slim it down that I didn't overwork myself over the weekend. And it's kind of funny because with all the conventions we do, you know, and everything we do, and I'm not saying the other con- conventions are not great because they are, yeah. they are wonderful and they're all in yeah, their own they have, right. They're wonderful in their own ways. Right. Right. So this one, this one spoiled me. This one, and that's, that's, that's the big thing for me. It spoiled me. And I don't have to feel like I, it was well the first time I didn't have to feel like I had to wear this or I have to wear this, and because the first thing that I even said the key was, you know, I'm like I don't know if I should wear my Superman shirt downstairs. I always wear my Superman shirt. <laughs> you That's my trademark. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's funny because uh, you, we were sitting here and we were sitting for waiting for Mr. Billingsley, uh, Bob Billingsley, to get an interview with him, mm-hmm. and you were standing there and you all were talking coming up with our questions we were going to ask him. And four other guys that you didn't even realize walked behind you had the exact same shirt on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's home. <laughs> you know, usually everybody back home knows I've got Superman radar. So if there's a Superman sh- a shirt, symbol anywhere around, I sniff it out. I can't do it here. It'd be overloaded. My mind would, my mind would fry. That's what I thought was funny about it. You were too focused on doing No, because I feel, just- I feel safe. Yeah. I feel home. And it's a unique feeling, but it's not that I don't enjoy the other cons. It really don't. But when you're sitting here going, what's up, brother? Yeah, what's up? You know, did you watch the next episode of Naruto? That's not, that's lit, man. Hell yeah. And you're just sitting here and it's like, I could talk urban back home or whatever you want to call it back home and say that with somebody. Because they look at, nah, who? <laughs> no, what? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a different kind of feel for me. And I don't have to do that because if I talk that way to the, to people here, they're like, "Are Wait, you okay? Are you okay? If you're not from here. You don't. You don't. You want to go get some drink? Let's let's go get you some some water. How about some ramen noodles? And you just sit down here and chill for the, the heat's getting to you, isn't it? And I'm like, oh wait, I don't have to do this. I can be me. Yeah. I can I can just wear my shirt, talk to somebody about the latest episode of whatever I'm watching. I'm not you know, and they're like. Well, you can do that with everybody else. Yeah, I can. I can do that with a lot of people, but it's different in some in some areas. You you you, you have to understand where it's coming from if you've not been there. And I hate saying it that way. And there, or just the way the blur community has been over the past number of years, and the where certain things have blurred, and even just LGBT disabilities, everything have changed, and then just coming into this one place. Whether it's no There's issues, no nothing. Everybody, uh, uh, you know, um, I think the, big, the biggest thing that I remember is, um, especially with the LGBT movement, is uh, where, you know, there's the shirt of saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. It's all that line story that says, I'm a person at the end. And that's exactly what they focus on here at BlurCon is you're a person. It doesn't matter who, what sexuality you are, matter your color, don't matter. I walked in here. A backwoods, semi-educated, <laughs> baby white guy, and they looked at me like, "Oh, come on in, honey. It's fine. You, we got you a little slow." Well, <laughs> so, anyway, you know. before you shoot yourself in the foot, even <laughs> like, more so. I, know, right? I mean, it was, it was just nice. I felt I mean, loved, you know, I, I, We've fun. all ate some fillet of soul right here at Shu, but. The, the biggest thing, the, the geek culture is encompassing of loving community, and it, it does have its up and down like any other community. But, and I'm sure Blurred will hit their hiccups, and they will smooth them out the best way they can yep. over time. And that's, the, and that's what happens with growth. And yes. this is their third year, and I only can imagine how things are going to go in the next year or two. Well, they're, they're on the rise, and they're doing good, and I wish them all the best. I agree. Um, but we've had a blast here, and I hope to continue having a blast here, and hopefully they'll invite us again next year. Yeah. So to the, finish this all out, well, 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 there's um, two things we want yep. to talk about. There's two major things that we want to talk about because uh, uh, they said they wanted honest feedback. So the only two things that we can really complain about this con is one was the app. They had an app for scheduling, which was great. You could see the schedule, but when you went to uh, looking on your phone for more info 
it would either crash or you couldn't see about it, so you had to refer back to the online paper schedule. And so that was one of the one of the things that we uh, I thought was a little bit of a hiccup. Yeah, but it was it's something that's fixable. Yeah, it's something that's fixable. And the other suggested thing that I told them is somebody who is uh, who deals with panic attacks and everything is uh, maybe next year they would consider adding a cool down room for somebody for people who are uh, sensory overloaded and. Uh, maybe autistic or something like that and they were like thank you for that feedback that was wonderful um we've never thought about that but oh my god that would fit in great here and so um i'm i'm glad that they took the advice